Hi everyone, it is Monday the 4th of March and I am picking up exactly where I left off from the previous weekly vlog where I said we were having our hair cut. So I've had my hair cut and <laughs> what do you think? Um, yeah, I love it. I do like it. Uh, I like it longer on the top, shorter on the sides. So that's how it's going to be for the foreseeable future. Anyway, um, today I've got some work to do. I need to get uh, last week's weekly vlog uploaded although you will already have seen all of that. You don't care about that kind of thing. Um, and then I've got more vlogs to edit, more Virgin Voyages vlogs. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how this week unfolds. Oh, look, we have kitty cat bunk beds. We've got Bo on the top and we've got Rory on bottom bunk. Matt's been weak. He's ordered a KFC. <laughs> no. You do. Maureen did it. Maureen did not do it. Did you hear that? He said that Maureen possessed him. <laughs> Maureen's order came. It did, and she's gone home, so we're going to have to leave her. Oh. Well, I've heard that Maureen finds the colonel very attractive. I think she likes that bow tie and, and the hair flick. That's exactly what she likes. Yeah. There we go. Here is the KFC. I only like the um, drumsticks, really. Welcome to Tuesday. So over the weekend, we did actually buy some more bird feed. So that entire seed mix was about £7 from b and It's an absolute bargain because it can be a fortune elsewhere. We also picked up another tub of um, fat balls. There we go. So I just put out a few more mealworms and peanuts for the birds. And the bird seeder with the seed in is now full. Matt's been cooking again. It is Tuesday evening. I've been and... good this time. Yes. I mean, I know it looks like a lot of pasta, but there's a lot less than what there was the last time he cooked pasta and it was <laughs> there was a lot of pasta. So you've gone slightly off-piste with this one. It's supposed to be cheese and spinach penne bake. What is it? What, what have I done? Yeah. Well, I forgot it needed to be baked. I just went on autopilot. It's got bacon in it. It has got bacon in it. And cheese. Right. But I've added must whole grain mustard to the sauce instead. Oh, it looks yummy. So whilst Matt dishes that up, we have got Married at First Sight Australia uh, ready. because It's really, really good. If you're not watching Married at First Sight Australia, start watching it. It's really, really good. We're also watching the Celebrity UK Big Brother. It's episode two tonight. Uh, so that's really, really good too. We've got lots of really good telly to get through and people have posted vlogs and podcasts and uh, there's so much to watch. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. I am up way too early. It's half past eight, my goodness. And just look at all the... I, I never know if it's fog or mist. But anyway, it, you definitely can't see particularly far into the distance. So it's a very foggy or misty morning, one of the two. And I'm up. Yes. Um, and the reason why I'm up is because I'm going to try and go to the gym this morning. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Oh, it's too early. He's awake! I'm so proud. Uh, I'm not in the moment. You are, you're being forced to go to the gym. <sighs> Look, I'm even wearing all my gear. For weeks he said, I will go back to the gym. I will go back <laughs> to the gym. Or else I'm, I'm making you commit <laughs> to going today. <laughs> I'm not forcing him to do it because he doesn't want to. He said he has. <laughs> I do want to, but I don't want to do it at half past six in the morning. It is quarter to ten. Oh. <laughs> well, it's half past six somewhere in the world. <laughs> but not here, dear. <laughs> so no, you'll feel so much better once you've been and done it. You'll feel energised and ready for the day. Oh yeah, I feel so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've made it. We're here. We are here. Oh, I'm getting on it. Right, what do I do? Go. Three, two, one, go, walk. Okay, ooh, ooh, I'm moving, I'm moving. I think I can go a little bit quicker than this. There we go. We've had a delivery. We have. 
It's... We are officially going for next week, low carb. Yeah, so as you remember, Matt last month did a whole month at the gym, so he's setting himself some challenges. Mm. And this ch- uh, month's challenge, or maybe going forward all the time, who knows, is to go incredibly low carb. Yes. So one of the f- most offenders of carbs is pasta. I love pasta. So what have you done? So I ordered some four-calorie penne pasta. Okay, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at this. Oh, you, so you can't actually see through the packet. No. So it's supposed to be like replaced. So what actually is it? So the ingredients are water, cognac powder, yeah. and the citric acid. Yum. Yum. Um, and yeah, it's only per hundred per seventy gram serving. It's naught point nine grams carbs. There you go. So hopefully, where did you hear about this? I actually heard this from Shane Dawson. Oh, it's a, it is yeah. a Shane Dawson. Um, yeah. So we watch a, a podcast and a channel called the Shane Dawson yeah. Podcast, and he has recommended them. How much were they? Uh, we haven't finished yet. Oh. Because I've got quite a few packs. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to get the free delivery. Are they all different or all the same? All different. Okay. Well, those are all the same. So they're the, the they're penne. Just the penne, because I know you like the penne. I do. And then we've also Twists. got high-protein pasta. Oh. Wow. So per 100 grams on this, it's 15 grams of carbs, but normal pasta is about 50. Okay, so it's quite a lot less. Yeah. And it's also 30 grams of protein. And this is available in the States as well, isn't it? For yes. those overseas. Yeah. And then we've also got some four calorie rice. Yeah, wow. Well, now, unfortunately, it. we don't have a, li- a discount link and code for no. you, so we can't give you one. Uh, you but I will leave it linked. Well. We've got... These came free. Oh, free? We've like got free. some Southwest flavoured tomato sauce. Ooh, and it, it's a weird colour because normally in the UK they, they make it red, like really, really red. So this is, um, wow, I look forward to trying. That's gluten free, fat free, zero free, vegan friendly, sugar free, no added sugar. I hope it tastes good. Per serving, these are only two calories because this is a two? good flavour. Two yeah. calories? Guess what kind of flavour this is? What? Curry. Chip shop curry. Chip shop curry! Chip shop oh, curry. we love chip shop curry. Wow. So, yeah, we'll give these a whirl. Absolutely. With the pastas and mm. see by the end of the month where I actually lost any weight. Because I may have gone to the gym every day, but I put on a pound. Yeah, but I think you've put some muscle on as well. I hope so. So, yeah, I think with the low carb, we definitely. So, sausage rolls are out of the equation, regular well, pasta. <laughs> Fish and chips are out of the equation. Anything in breadcrumbs. Yeah, all oh, the good stuff. It makes you think what is actually What's What's carbon. life worth living for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we start write, in, write in to us and tell us what is the meaning of life if it's not carbs. <sighs> yeah, Matt was just, he just called me in. These are the carrots from HelloFresh um, to make roasted carrots with. So... We, we're not having many carrots, are we? No, unless we've got some in the fridge. Do, I was going to say, do we have any... Uh, frozen wouldn't do, would it? They've got to be roasted. Oh, we do have a few. Are they all right? They're a bit frozen. Frozen? Yeah. Oh, I mean... Well, they'll... They won't be frozen frozen, because it's the fridge, so... They might just be, like, a bit... Ice. Uh, anyway. Ooh. Ooh. So we, we are doing the Hello Fresh today, as you can tell. Uh, so what we're having today, Matt's attempting to cook... The sausages in mushroom sauce with some carrots. Although, in the picture, it doesn't look like a lot of carrots, does it? No. But anyway, we'll work it out. Matt will work his, his magic in the kitchen, as he always does. Oh, by the way, what do you think of his new uh, top? I don't know where I'm going, but I'm gay! And it's a black cat with a briefcase and an umbrella, which I think Matt should probably take off whilst he's cooking, because it's white, and it's just inviting spillages and I'll splashes. Be fine. I'll be fine. You sure? Yeah. Okay. It's not me who does the washing anyway, so... No, but it's very difficult to get out. Okay, so I should probably update you on how the gym went. So, I got up, I went to the gym with Matt about 40 minutes into my work. I was doing, I'm doing the push-pull leg split. So, one day you do all push exercises, the next you do pull, and then you do legs. So, I was trying to do um, push. I was doing some chest on the cables and a few things. By the time I got to 40 minutes in, I was so exhausted. Uh, so I went on the treadmill for the remaining time and waited for Matt to finish his workout. So we came home and I just felt so tired and drained. I had about a three hour nap. So I need to build up my stamina. And also 
I need like to have an actual plan of what I'm doing in the gym. So although I knew I was doing push pull legs and it's going to be a push day, I didn't know what exercises I was doing. So I need to work that out. But I do feel glad that I went and I'm, I'm going to go again. So tomorrow is the plan, but we're going at a more reasonable time of 11 a.m. Uh, Matt's changed his top and found a solution to the lack of carrots. He's going to roast an onion instead. That's all you get. I know, that, that was a bit skimpy, to be quite honest. Um, oh, I haven't told them what we're doing with meals going forwards. So, what we're going to do, because Matt's challenge is low carb, there isn't really an option with HelloFresh to do the low, 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 low carb. No. Like what Matt wants to do. So, we're going to pause the HelloFresh and source meals that are low Just carb, our, like our the own pasta. food shopping. Yes, our own food shopping. So, that's why we Matt ordered that skinny pasta and... That kind yeah. of thing. Uh, so don't be fooled when we when you see us eating pasta. It is the skinny pasta, low carb. So here is our dinner today. Uh, Matt did double up on the potato to make up for the carrot. There's also some onion in there, and he made Yorkshire puddings. Here we have Bo complaining. He's had his food. Uh, so <laughs> we've got some new daffodils we bought yesterday, and Matt's showing off his outfit. He's got his cat. Uh, jumper on. There we go, lovely. We're taking my suit back, um, my jacket back. So I want to see if they've got this in a short. So I'm looking for a 46 slim fit short. Good, Let's hope. Good look for me. So the jacket is ordered. I returned the one that was the wrong size. I've now ordered a 44 regular short. So that's on its way. She'll be here to collect tomorrow. On the way to Sainsbury's now, there is a chicken fillet with a bap in a bap with my name written all over it. Oh, here they are, and they are reduced to. Oh, look, what an absolute bargain. So there was a chicken fillet in a bap, some fried chicken, and there was a bacon as well. Matt's going off piece with today's HelloFresh. I am, because it's this Tuscan-inspired pulled chicken stew. Mm -hmm. And it says you need to put it in a leaven-proof dish, like on the hob first, and then in there. But yeah. we don't have one that works there and can go in the oven. No. So I'm going to slow cook it instead. Mm -hmm. so we're going to buy the That's our slow cooker. It's a crock pot slow cooker. Yeah. By the way, it's Friday. I don't know if I mentioned, but it is Friday. Uh, so this will be tonight's evening meal. Also, the clock fell off last night. So I was, um, I had my headphones on. I heard an almighty clatter and oh. the clock fell off. Now, we did have the clock on with this kind of hook. It failed. Um, so the the clock is in pieces. We need a new one. This is where the clock went on this little pillar here. Um, so we now do not know the time. Let's we are timeless. <laughs> yeah, unless we look at our phones. Um, so the day today, it's a little bit grey, a bit cloudy, but it's not wet or anything. So that's one godsend. However, it is freezing. It's really cold outside. We have a little chef. A little sous chef. A mini chef. So this is what we've got in the slow cooker for now. So that's creme fraiche going in. So yes. It's like a squirty bag of creme fraiche. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, look at the daffodils. They've all come out now. If we just, if we just peek past Bo's tail, we can see the lovely, beautiful yellow daffodils. So, and then that goes on for how long? How many hours? Oh, about six. Six hours. It'll be six hours later. So it's quite a few hours later and we think it's gone wrong. Yeah. The creme fraiche has kind of separated and congealed and it's not looking very good. No, it's it's bitty. Bitty and doesn't look good. So yeah, it's like almost half past six in the evening. So we've and got no choice but to go to the chippy. Yeah, we might have to just go to the chip shop. No choice. There's no other option. There is Totally there are, there are no, no other Hello Fresh meals. There are today. no other options available. Um, it's also been a day where I have felt like it has been Saturday, and it's not Saturday; it is Friday. But it's felt like Saturday even from like yesterday. I thought today was going to be Saturday, but it's not. Uh, so I've not really done much today. I've kind of I had a nap in the afternoon because I had the most horrendous headache. And the most horrendous bed hair as well. Um, so, oh, it's almost like something about Mary, isn't it? Um, so ignore the bed hair. So yes, I think we're going to have to go to the chip shop um, to rescue today. Hello, welcome to Saturday. And we are off to the shops because we need to get a few bits and pieces. I oh. forgot... <laughs> You 
You know I'm leaving that in the vlog. <laughs> I forgot to vlog last night's dinner. I think it's repeating. So we did have a chip <laughs> shop. Uh, because the chicken went completely wrong. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, so we got rid of it. It was dry wrong. as well. Yeah. I don't understand how it was dry. I don't know. But we need to go and get a few bits and pieces. Yeah. We need to replace the clock as well. Uh, tomorrow's Mother's Day. It is. So we also need to call it the garden centre on the way because I want to get my mum a plant. Yes. So let's get to it. Right, so we've come to the garden centre to look for a plant. I've just seen a water feature I, li I like. It's called a mysterious moon. And there's there's lots of others as well. Um, so there's a few plants and things that I like the look of. I love that little like, arbour thing there with the frame. Imagine that with roses growing up it, that would be fantastic. There's some nice patio sets. There's a rotating heater. There is, if we're ever in the market for, for a rotating heater. There's also some lavender. Now I'm looking for English lavender, so I'm not quite sure what that one is, but this one's called Fairy Wings in pink. So here is the garden centre outside today. There are lots of lovely things, but I do like the garden centre that is up by Matt's parents called King's Nursery near Welshpool. Um, they have some really fantastic prices, but it is Mother's Day tomorrow, so I do need to get something. I saw something that I quite liked in the foyer, so we might go back and get that. Just telling Matt, I obviously the, the road is just there. Every time we've been driving by, I've seen something and I've wondered whether it's for sale. I think it used to be for sale. And it is, of course, this beautiful metal white arbour, which I thought would go lovely where the rose walk is. But it is, of course, depending on, on the price. How much? £299. Well, I, I think there's a deal to be done here because this, as you can tell <laughs> from the state of it, has been here a very, very long time. Yeah. And if they want to get rid of it, then perhaps... There's a deal to be done, but maybe I won't talk about it today, but maybe if I think about a reasonable offer. Right, so the plant that I really wanted to get, um, it actually likes full sun, and the spot that my mom wants to put it, um, it doesn't like, uh, it's quite shady. So I was gonna get this one, but as you can see, uh, it likes to be in a sunny place, which where she wants it is not. We're in Dunelm and we have found a throw for the back of the chair for the cats to sit on. We are in the kitchenware section of Dunelm and people often ask us where we got our non-stick um, pans from. I think they're just It's there. these, these Scoville non-sticks. I mean, they baking are. Trays. Yeah, well, any of the Scoville range are really, really good, but um, yeah. these, these are the best oh, ones. Yeah. And they've also got the flat trays as well from Dunelm. We've also found uh, some reed diffuser oil called Ireland for £10 because they're normally very expensive wherever you go. And now finally into Sainsbury's to pick up some creme fresh because we forgot that from Morrison. I've got some flowers for my mum for Mother's Day. I've just literally stood them in some water. But there they are, aren't they lovely? Right, so it's now the moment of truth. Will the jacket finally fit? Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, I think it does. Yay, look. Look, the sleeves are just fine. So I am a 44 short in a jacket. Look at this. Okay, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm loving it. Obviously, I'm not going to wear it with jogging bottoms and this top, but it even done up. It fits really, really nice. Oh, that's perfect. Look, I'm really happy with that. Yay, so I don't have to have it tailored. So I've got a theory. I think that places like Next and all the general retailers have actually increased the length of their regular sizes. So a regular used to fit me fine. It now doesn't. So I am a short when it comes to... I'm still a regular. In, I can get away with short or regular in trousers. Looks fine. Uh, but with jackets and things like this, I am definitely a short of arm and I think I never used to be so I think I've got a theory that they have completely changed everything but there we go I am suited and I will be booted but these are slippers and here is the throw on the back of the chair I haven't organized it completely good but anyway it is a lot better than the other one the other one was really really cheap and you know it's fairly new the old one but the cats, it kind of pulled with, it snagged quite a lot is what I'm trying to say. Whereas this one, it's that teddy bear stuff. And I think that's going to be a lot better. And I quite like the colour it blends in. It's really comfortable. It's doubled over. So it's actually like twice that size, really. Um, so yeah, I'm liking that. Matt is cooking some of the skinny pasta. So what does it look like? 
because we couldn't see before. It's kind of a bit like, when, you know like when you've got uncooked prawns and they look a bit transparent? It's a bit like that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so what do you have to do? It's only like a minute, isn't it, to cook? Yeah, so you've just got to drain them, and then it says to wash them in cold water, so I thought this might yeah. be the easiest way. To... And then, it's a bit, kind of a bit, I imagine, like, when you just put it in hot boiling water and you just leave it, a bit like a pot noodle type thing, when it's yeah. not pot noodle. Um, but yeah, and then you add it to what we've got on the stove on the go, which is a, chi a mustard chicken. Yeah. So it should be chicken mustard pasta. I can't remember if I've showed you guys the grass seed, but it is actually sprouting from the little tubs. And when we went shopping today, we couldn't find a clock. I didn't like any of them. And they're either too big or the wrong size. Or So the hunt is on for a fabulous kitchen clock. Here is the chicken and the mustard sauce. And here is the pasta. So if you're wondering, um, Matt says he was expecting it maybe to expand a bit, but it hasn't so far. But I mean, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it's what it's like. Okay, so Matt's just been reading what's actually in it. So it's only six calories for te grams. technically, yeah, 100 grams, but there it is in there. So it's got literally nothing, has it? It's got no, there's no calories, there's no protein. No. There's no anything. Just 1.3 grams of carbs, which is 50 times less than normal pasta. There you go. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Try, but it, it doesn't look the greatest. Um. It's looking better now it's been in there for a bit. Yeah. To be fair. Hi everybody, good morning. It is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to everyone, whether you, uh, whether it's a happy time or a sad time, because I know sometimes it can be a sad time for people. Uh, so however you are finding Mother's Day, I hope that you are well. Um, Rory's on the fence. It's a bit of a grey, wet kind of day, so I, but I still, I still come out in the garden with my, with my cup of coffee. Um, my mom has just been. Uh, and my dad, and my dad's actually helped put up, there's Matt waving in the window, my dad's helped put up some pictures. Well, he, he put the clock back on the wall and fixed it after it broke. He's held it together with some sellotape. Um, I'm just showing you the garden as I chat. Uh, and then he's put a picture up that we've had for a long time uh, above the sofa, so I'll show you that a bit later. So I don't feel like gardening today. Um, I'm not feeling particularly well. I feel a little bit hot and cold, a little bit dare I say it, feverish, but I've got work to do, so I will be recording a royal video today. It is Mother's Day. Lots of the royals have posted Mother's Day things. There's Bob. Um, so I do need to work, and then I may just have a lazy afternoon. Well, no, I'm definitely going to have a lazy afternoon. And I think Matt said he wants to make um, a baked potato and chilli for our evening meal. Oh, Matt's been a good egg. We haven't got baked potatoes, so he's going to... Yeah. Yeah, he's going to pop to the shop and get some. And he also adds a touch of dark chilli, um, dark chocolate. You probably couldn't hear him. Uh, so I will repeat what he said. Um, but just con wanted to look at the rose walk because this is uh, the spot where I want that, that white pergola from the garden centre that we saw yesterday. I think it's the perfect size. I've just been, I, ha I didn't take measurements of it. But I just think it would look, if I just zoom out as well, I think it's the perfect size to go along this path and I can actually grow some things up it like maybe some clematis, um, that kind of thing. So, or even some climbing roses. So here is the clock, all fixed. Well, I say all fixed. I mean, it is kind of held together by sellotape. You can see the crack, but it's underneath, so you can't really see. Um, we looked in Dunelm for a clock yesterday. I wasn't that impressed. So for now, that will do. Uh, and it, it's, it's on a proper nail now, so that's really good. And we also now have a picture that I've had for years. Uh, it was in the old house above the sofa. So there we go. Maybe I might need a couple either side of it to balance it out, but it's better than nothing. And we already had it, so that's the thing. Would I have chose it to go here if I was choosing a picture? 
Not particularly, but we had it. It's gone there. It looks good. It matches with the colours. Um, we need a, a clock over here as well. So I am on the hunt for clocks because it is nice to look at a clock, but I don't like clocks that do lots of ticking. Hi everybody, I am back from my slumber and um, I've just been outside to measure to see if that um, arbour would look really nice outside in the garden. Anyway, if it is, we're not sure of the dimensions, but if it is three metres, it would fit perfectly. I've woken up and I think I was asleep in bed for about four or five hours. I didn't feel very well. Um, yeah, I've got a bit of an earache, just not feeling yet. Probably a bug or a cold or something coming on. Anyway, Matt's decided to make a chilli. So that is what he's got, a chilli and baked potato for tonight's evening meal. Here we are, baked potato and chilli. Yum, 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 with lots of cheese. Hi everybody and welcome to Monday afternoon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, it's afternoon. <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm outside, I have been up quite a few hours. Um, and I need to get this video edited so that you can see a weekly vlog. The mini greenhouse in there has fallen over. I think Rory has knocked it over on a few occasions, so I do need to get that fixed. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you the garden for the last time this week. Still looking all kind of springy. Things are springing into action, which I think uh, is rather lovely. But I was going to spend most of the day doing this vlog, getting it all edited. Um, but there has been some royal news come in about... Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and that Mother's Day photo. Oh my goodness, it's all it's all getting a little bit too much. Anyway, I need to cover that today, so I need to do an emergency video on that, and then I will start to edit this footage. Uh, so here I am, here I am today. I need to still do my hair. Uh, I have had a shower, but normally what I do is comb it the one way, wait for it to semi dry, and then I flip it over the other way, and then it looks perfect. Um, so yes, I need to make a video on that. Um, and then get this all done, and then that's pretty much my entire day, all taken up with video filming and editing um, over the life of, of a vlogger. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, I need to get all that done. Matt's gone to the gym, um, he'll probably bring back some lunch. We're still doing the low carb, we um, have, we, we have cancelled the Hello Fresh, or paused the Hello Fresh for now. Um, you know, we might restart it again. Uh, once we once we're over the low carb thing, uh, we've yeah. So we'll see how that goes. I also realise that many of you will probably want a close up of the actual picture that we've hung up. So this is it is a limited edition. It's when I was going through a, a buying art limited edition phase. It is number twelve of ninety five uh, print. And when I looked on the website I bought it from, they are all sold out now and they've actually gone up in price. So I bought this when it was in the sale. I think it was a January, January sale and it had a discount as well. Um, so hopefully it's um, appreciated in value, but it is a, it's kind of like a modernist take on classical um, paintings. And it's basically someone's wife dressed as a Victorian or in the Victorian era, writing at a desk, writing her uh, writing her diary, and then uh, it's supposed to represent, I don't know, her thoughts being blown out at sea or abandonment or something of that nature. So yes, a cheery painting. <laughs> the birds are absolutely loving the feeders. We've had so many blue tits and all kinds of things. So I keep on going out and topping them all up. I do keep putting things on the bird table, but they seem to be enjoying the raised feeder at the moment. It normally takes them a while to get used to it, uh, especially when we haven't been putting things in for a while. So they are there, there are lots of blue tits. Uh, there are so many, so many different birds. Okay, so let's go into this cupboard. Now I don't often show this because there's not really any reason to come in, in here for you guys. So this used to be, if you remember from the old house tour video when we very, very first bought the house, this was where the toilet was. And we moved the toilet, obviously, into its new location. And uh, we had the boiler put here. This is the boiler cupboard and utility and vacuums and all that kind of stuff. So while we were away, uh, Matt's dad put us up some shelves and it is quite tight in here. So I'm gonna have to kind of come in and shut the door. Um, so we have a cupboard and we have some shelves in it. 
What I want to do is to sort all of this out, out over the coming weeks. This is prime storage that is not being utilised to its full potential. So we have the boiler. Obviously, it's a valent boiler. Very, very, very happy with that choice. It's fantastic. We have the stop tap behind the water filter. Now, this water filter machine basically gets rid of lime scale. It's fitted to the mains water and you put like salt pellets or salt crystals in and it basically descales all of your water before it sends it to the shower or the kitchen sink or whatever it might be. So that is a godsend. I love that. It is a bit bulky, but um, it's worth it. It really, really, really is worth it. We have lots of bags of bits of vacuum cleaner. <laughs> so we've got the shark in here um, and we have the Dyson. So what I want to do is to get all these bags of vacuum bits up off the floor. I want some hooks so that I can hang some nice bags. So I'd like to get some nice aesthetic bags, maybe some, I don't know, you know, like those, um, what are they called? Like Hessian bags. I can put the, the vacuum bits in. I can label it. I can hang them on some hooks. Uh, we have the, the mop on on a, a wall hanger, we have the broom on a wall ham hanger, and we have the mop bucket. So the idea is I'll be able to get the mop bucket all the way back, and I want to get some, some nice baskets to put some bits and pieces. So we have a very, very cheap steam iron. This is uh, one of the uh, power tools in the garden charger, like the lawnmower or the hedge trimmer or the strimmer. This is our, our manly box, our manly box of man stuff. And then we've got obviously a top shelf that we can put things on there. Um, behind, oh, there's the ironing board. It doesn't get much use, let's just put it that way. So on the back of the door here, we've got this shoe hook, which does hold quite a few pairs of shoes. We haven't used it to its full potential. I'm not even sure whether or not that's gonna stay because Matt hasn't used these shoes in a while anyway their mat shoes. So anyway, this cupboard needs a complete redo. So I want to be able to just open the door and come in here and everything be organised. Also want to say a really, really, really big thank you to Jamie for using my Skin and Me discount code. Let me know how you got on. I've just been outside and put down another bird buffet. Also, we still have cruise vlogs as well to go. So we're only on like probably the second day of cruise vlogs for, for the second cruise. So we've still got a few more weeks of cruise vlogs coming up on the channel. So I really hope you are enjoying those. Hi everybody, it's time to say goodbye. And Matt can't move. I can't, because I'm a baby. <laughs> Aww. So it's been a work week again. Um, we haven't really gone anywhere or done anything particular, but next week we are going out. Uh, because Saturday we have a wedding to go to, Yay. which is why we have arranged all of our suits and things. So no, it's not our wedding. No, don't we're not get excited. People. We're not being all secretive. We're not just going to suddenly present you with a wedding. It is a friend's wedding. <laughs> um, so we are going to all be dressed up, and I will try and bring you as much of the wedding as I possibly can. It should be very, very interesting. Um, what else are we doing next week? Not a lot. No, that's it. No, uh, but it's goodbye to the Hello Fresh for now. Yes. Uh, and we've still got lots of TV to watch. We're still watching Gladiators, still watching Married at First Sight Australia, still watching Drag Race, still yeah. watching... Everything. Big Brother. Oh, yeah. Celebrity Big Brother UK, that's on. So it's all going on. Anyway, yes. thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from us, mm. to you all, and goodbye. Bye.